Welcome to Grammy Live. I'm Amanda Klutz. And I'm Alina Vision. The countdown to the 66 Grammy Awards is officially on, and this is the place to be as we get ready to bring you all the action surrounding music's biggest night. The Grammy Awards broadcast kicks off at 8 Eastern by Pacific live on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus with Showtime. And we've got all of the access to your favorite artists, from highlights of the red carpet to interviews with Grammy Award winners and performers, plus exclusive access to the backstage moments you won't see anywhere else. Visit live.grammy.com. Don't miss a minute. Here we have everyone's favorite duo, Ariel and Matt. How are you guys doing tonight? So good, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Doing fantastic, thank you. We've had the best week with MasterCard. Got to spend some time at the Grammy house where we danced, we drank, we saw some cool performances and it has been incredible. And not to mention, MasterCard bringing their sponsorship of the Grammys this year to raise awareness for tree restoration is key. 100 million trees restored with priceless Planet Coalition. That's a mouthful. <laughs> but you got it. And I love that. I love that. So what are you guys most excited for tonight? Because I've seen you guys living it up on social media. So what about tonight? Well, I don't know all the details, but I did see that MasterCard and SZA have something special planned. So I'm very excited for that. And yeah, just the let's party. <laughs> Some might say it's uh, going to be priceless. See what I did there, MasterCard? Bunch. I love that. Love what you did there. So we're all waiting anxiously, right? SZA is so great. I'm going to be on the edge of my seat literally all night. <laughs> well, thank you both for stopping by to chat about your Grammys week with MasterCard and love for SZA. Um, have a great night. And for those other SZA fans out there, make sure to check out what special surprise SZA and MasterCard have planned. Tune in to CBS Tonight for something special from SZA in partnership with MasterCard. All right, we are with Billy Eilish O'Connell, Phineas O'Connell, winners. You guys are already winners, but you're five times nominated today. Six times, six times nominated today. You guys, congratulations. How are you feeling? You won, you already won. I know, I mean, I'm set, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I, I feel like that's it and, and we're good to go. I, we, that's kind of our, that's what we're guessing and that's awesome. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm so honored, I'm excited, it's cool. Exactly. Now, you guys are veterans, right, here sure. at the Grammys. That's what it feels like. <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah. like every year we see you guys, you guys are nominated. Amazing music. Thank what does you. it mean to be nominated um, for your work in the Barbie movie this year? I mean, it's insane. You know, we put one song out this whole year yeah. and did not think it would get, you know, maybe one even, um, and let alone six, which is really, really crazy. This was supposed to be an off year. <laughs> um, didn't put an album out. We didn't do anything. We, we really like made one song and we were like, here you go. And um, it's just insane. I mean, it's so surreal and amazing. And I don't know, I'm blessed, I'm honored. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'll ask you a question, Vidya. So when you guys got that call about making this song for the Barbie movie, I mean, I feel like you kind of, you guys captured like the heart of this movie in one song. What yeah. was, I've heard you say you wrote it in 45 minutes. Is that true? Please tell us. I don't know. Tell us the story. Yeah, I know. Maybe I sh we should stop saying that. Maybe it minimizes. <laughs> I have the timestamps. It was not it 45, but it was around that. The, the work that, <laughs> we, that went into it. But, you know, I think the real truth is just that movie was so meaningful to the two of us, and we loved it so much, and, and the sort of honor of writing something to participate in it was, like, immense for us. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, to be in any of, the, any of these rooms on like Team Barbie has been really, like, really fun. I was saying that to Greta recently. Of like, I feel like I we're know. like honorary members of like the Barbie entourage, <laughs> and it's very it's a dope. cool group to be a part of. Yeah, yeah. it's really cool. Awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Now, Billy, you're performing tonight. I what can am. you tell us about the performance? Classic, simple. Um, I don't know. I'm excited for it. It's uh, it's. I feel like it's very like close to my heart. I don't know, it's, it's simple. It's like nothing crazy, um, 
beautiful, in my opinion. I think it, I don't know. It feels really good. I feel, I feel, I feel happy about it. Excited. And you are also a first-time nominee with uh, Labyrinth, right? For Never Felt So Alone. Tell us about that collab. Um, well, Phoebe and SZA got that, and they deserve the hell out of it. I was rooting for. Them. I was literally like, they, they're the ones that should get that. <laughs> um, but no, that was amazing. I mean, Lab is like the sweetest, most like creative, fucking oop, freak genius of all time, and he's, um, I don't know, he's amazing. And I was, I was so shocked when he asked me to do that song. I mean, I'd heard it for like a year, like in, you know, the show and in t on TikTok and stuff, and. I don't know, I just was really excited to be a part of it. And it was just like a random day and we just like made that little <laughs> da 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 da. Yeah, anyway, I, I don't know, it's really cool. He's the best. No, 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 it took you hours, days, a lot of hard work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The bad stuff takes months and the really, the stuff you're really happy about is very quick. It's true. That's my, it's true. I wish that weren't true. Sometimes you're weeks deep in something and you're like, it's gonna be amazing. And you're like, oh no, I'm already weeks deep. It's, yeah. th this should have come a lot easier, mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Congratulations. Have, Have a good night. Tonight. See you later. So good to see you guys. Bye, yes. Bye guys. <laughs> okay, we are with Best New Artist nominee. Are you? Are you taking that in? Best New Artist Grammy nominee, Gracie Abrams. How are you feeling? I'm just happy to be here with you guys right now. Thank you for having me. I feel so lucky to be in this room. It's really out of this world. Now tell me about when you found out you were nominated. Day of nominations, what happened? I was alone in New York uh, in my bed, heating pad on. I've watched the live stream of the you know nominations every year since I can remember, and I was watching just as a fan. I did not expect to be included this year at all, so it was just a complete shock, and it still is. I can't believe today is the day. It's yeah. Bizarre. Yeah. You guys just look so good. I'm like distracted. Oh, you look so oh, incredible. You look so good. <laughs> were you able to sleep last night? What time did you wake up this morning? I was up at seven. I slept last night. I journaled for a while, just kind of like really just raving about everybody else in this category because I've gotten to know some of them over the past week. Um, and they are so extraordinary and they're such true artists. And it's kind of like restored my faith in like this industry a little bit because it's so isolating typically and to get to connect with them has really just been such a privilege and I'm just really grateful to be able to be in the room to scream for them tonight. Yeah, you're there with your peers. Now how does it feel to be nominated by your peers? It's such an honor. Um, I think I've been trying to wrap my head around the fact that that's a real thing. Um, I feel so lucky to have learned from so many people that are a part of the Academy. I've I've grown up just admiring everybody who has been on the Grammy stage before, been in the room, and, and um, so I just, I can't quite believe it. Yeah, it's a real pinch me moment. Amazing. Crazy, who inspires you? Your music is so beautiful. Like, what gets you going? Joni Mitchell, who's performing tonight, yeah. and I've, ne I've never, seen her perform and I, I she I have her handwriting tattooed on me like I I just really love her more than anything and so to be in the same vicinity as her I'm like already trying not to lose my shit I'm just it's a uh, Overwhelming. I mean, like best new artist nominee it doesn't matter. Like, Johnny I just Mitchell's want to see Johnny It's Johnny Mitchell night. It's Johnny Mitchell night. Yeah. Amazing. Now we got to ask you about the fashion because the red carpet is all about the fashion. So tell yeah. us about the inspiration for your look. Uh, um, I'm wearing Chanel tonight, and um, they've been so lovely to work with. I just wanted to wear something that I felt like I could breathe in and uh, where I wasn't taking up space and. Um, <laughs> And I, uh, yeah, they're the greatest. I just wanted to feel in my skin, and they helped me with that. Yeah. Gracie, quickly, what was like favorite moment so far of this whole Grammy week? Because it's you know ending tonight. So what's your favorite moment so far? I really do think it, it's been getting to cross paths with the artists artists in this category. Um, either a few artists I haven't met yet, but um, yesterday I, I got to meet Warren Treaty and I admire them so much. I'm so inspired by their story. Jelly Roll, I haven't met yet, but I have been admiring him from afar. Noah is a dear friend at this point I, who I just am rooting for a million and 10%. They're all just extraordinary people. I wish that like everybody could leave the room tonight with the award because they all really deserve it so, so much. So that's been the greatest. 
part for sure. It's an awesome category. You deserve to be in it. Congratulations. We're rooting for you. Have a great night. You're doing amazing. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Gracie. Best of luck. See ya. All right, we are here with Josh Groban and Anna Lee Ashford, Broadway babies here for the nominee, Sweeney Todd. Guys, you don't have a matinee today. How are you feeling? I think we're feeling great. We're How about you, Josh? Great. We're feeling so happy to be here to represent this beautiful show and our incredible cast who's on stage probably right now. Um, yes, we're right so now. proud to be here to represent the whole show and uh, so happy people have enjoyed the show and this album as much as they have. Yeah, my, my purse says Sweeney on it. Oh, amazing. Hey, <laughs> hey right? My underwear says Sweeney on it too. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Now you're just competing with each other. <laughs> Speaking of fashion, we got to talk about your outfit because you look gorgeous. Thank you. I mean, it's the Grammys, right? so I had to wear a see-through dress. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. As you do. Yeah. Now, you guys, why do you think this revival of Sweeney Todd was so impactful? I mean, it just got so much love, rightfully so. Um, the two of you are incredible partners in crime, uh, literally in crime, <laughs> in the show. But tell us what it meant to you reviving this beautiful beautiful musical. Yeah, I well, mean, yeah, I'm so honored to be here today to celebrate the show because, you know, at the heart of it is this luxurious score that we got to celebrate every night with 26 pieces. Um, I mean, and also honoring the memory of Stephen Sondheim yeah. every night was a gift. Any of us who grew up loving theater, this is a top one show that we've loved for our entire lives. So to be able to do it at this level with the team and the cast that we were able to do it with, um, it really, it's lightning in a bottle. And the fact that we were able to introduce Sweeney Todd and Broadway as a whole to so many new audiences this year, young and old, uh, really was the, the greatest highlight of my career. And this is your first nomination for theater, right, Josh? For theater, yeah. This yeah. is my fifth nomination, but first nomination for theater. And um, shelf is still empty, so you never know. But maybe this is the one. This is the one. Tonight is the night, Josh. It's happening tonight. Look at that. He has a brooch. But no, for it to be for this, uh, this year is, is truly a highlight, yeah. That's right. It would mean a lot. You guys are amazing. Enjoy. Get all crazy tonight, cause yeah. you can yeah, enjoy. <laughs> for all the theater kids out there, we're gonna have it. We're gonna knock back a few. Yeah. yeah thank <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Thank you so much. Yeah. See you guys. Thank you. So nice All right, you know these guys. It's Pentatonix, three-time Grammy winners, five-time Grammy Grammy nominees, uh, nominees tonight. Guys, you look really good. Thank you. I, I mean, I hate to start off with fashion with you guys, but like, wow, you really, you got the memo. You put it together. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about music. Um, you're nominated for your holiday album. Your, this is your sixth or seventh holiday album? Yes, I have lost count for seven. <laughs> seven? With deluxes, yeah, right. I don't know what counts. But yes, this is our Holidays Around the World album. We collaborated with a bunch of amazing artists from all over the world, and it was such a beautiful experience. And for it to be, have this honor and be uh, celebrated by our peers is a dream. Yeah, It's really a special album. You really did bring in, I mean, like, you listen to it. It's like every culture, every music, every voice is heard. It's really beautiful. And I think it's such a, a, a treat for holidays to remember that we are all one, right? Yeah. yeah, and everyone celebrates the holidays differently. And it was beautiful to learn about these different cultures and be guided by these artists and learn their music. And it was just such a beautiful experience and a reminder of the of how beautiful harmony can be, musically and socially. (laughs) Exactly. Now, I mean, you guys are no stranger to the Grammys. What about tonight is exciting for you? There's a lot of great performances that are going to happen. I'm thinking Billy Joel. I hear Tracy Chapman is going to perform, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, I'm so excited. Um, Who else is there? You too, Billy Eilish. Annie Lennox is performing. No way, really? I'm learning every everything today. Joni Mitchell. Oh, Joni Mitchell. 
Okay. Okay. Why am I telling you? <laughs> you guys need to study harder. <laughs> <laughs> We have a lot going on in our heads. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Another holiday album, hopefully. Yeah. Right? Number 19. <laughs> yeah. It's also exciting to be at the Grammys, like, older, and I feel like we're more grounded in ourselves. I feel like I'm more present than ever. Yeah. I feel like early on, when you were younger, I was just like, I'm so nervous and overstimulated, but now I can enjoy it more. Yeah. Awesome. You guys, we always enjoy you. Thanks for stopping by. Congratulations. Best of luck. I really, really enjoyed that album, so... Good luck to you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great Bye, night. <laughs>
The song is a part of a cultural moment in the Barbie movie. How does it feel now to have that song recognized by your peers as part of that um, oh, project? It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I mean, it's such an honor to be recognized by your peers. So um, to get to do that for a song, that was a unique experience for me overall writing for film. I loved it and I feel very grateful and I'm just so happy. <laughs> so now you're going to be performing that song tonight. Can you give us any, any, any anything that's... We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. No, no sneak peeks, no sneak peeks. We're hoping you're performing it We're tonight. performing. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's performing. Okay, yeah, it's we're performing. Okay. All right, we, we don't know all the details. Exactly. <laughs> we're going to try and keep some things like secret, you know? Right, exactly. So people can tune in. Exactly. Yes, yes. Um, we can't shy away from this a gorgeous dress. Tell us everything. Uh, this is a custom courage dress. Um, with Tiffany jewelry, it's from their 2023 um, Blue Book collection, and I just, I feel a bit Joan of Arc yes, energy that's it. Um, <laughs> in it, uh, feeling a bit of like a warrior kind yeah. of thing. So it's I love woman it. Power. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Feel strong in it. Yes. Oh <laughs> um, do a one last thing. Females are dominating the Grammys this yeah. year. Mm -hmm. You're a part of it. How does that feel? Oh, it feels amazing. I mean, you know, women have been getting recognition for a long time, but especially this year, there's just so many um, amazing female albums that have just been nominated. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. You should be. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you so Best much. Best of luck tonight. Bye. 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 We are here with Skrillex, nominated tonight for Best Dance Electronic Recording and Best Dance Electronic Music Album. How does it feel to be nominated in those two categories? It feels great. You know, I think the cool thing about this category and I think electronic music is that, you know, it's not really based around like hits or, or, or uh, you know, like monetary success. It's really about like people enjoying something in real life and, and to see how it's evolved and the people in the category are my best friends and it's it's awesome, yeah, so. That's really cool to be nominated with your best friends from your peers. What are you so excited to uh, hear and be, be here for tonight? You know, I'm, I'm kind of like ducked off in my own world and I've been working on new music. So like, it's always good for me to like pop my head above water and see what's happening in, in music and, and, and all the different artists and so. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how the day goes, but we did, you know, we, we just picked one up in the pre-telecast, which is really exciting, and I think I'm going to celebrate with some of my friends and, and uh, hang out a little bit, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, that is amazing, amazing. Yeah. Now, I know, you know, you're always locked away in the studio, either creating new music or on tour, performing for people. So how does it feel to be kind of out of the studio now? Here, are there any, like, artists that you're like, oh, Maybe I'll run into them and collab with them or like set up something. Because like, yeah, anytime I like to collaborate, it's always organic like that. Right, it's like yeah. running into somebody. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's the thing is like, I, I, I grew up in LA, you know, right over the, the hill right. in Highland Park. And um, it's been a minute, I've been living in London for a while, so I haven't even been in LA properly. So it's uh, kind of crazy. I feel like I'm a foreigner who's looked at the Grammys my whole life from a different place and finally experiencing it for the first time again. It's pretty surreal always coming here, so. Okay, so I gotta ask you, where are you gonna keep your Grammy? I have a little, a little, uh, a little, a little stash spot, you know. Okay. I was saying, like, I like to keep it away from the studio, so I don't, you know, so I don't get too lazy and think that like all the work is done. I like to hide like them a that. little bit, but like keep them there, you know. Right. So you can see it. You yeah. know what you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So it's cool. Study, thanks so much for stopping by. Best of luck. Congratulations. Have a great evening. Congratulations. Guys, have a good one. Thank you. Peace. With brother Oz, brothers Osborne, two-time 66 Grammy, no Grammy nominees, best country group duo performance, and best country album. Woo!
guys, how are you feeling? It's a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah, trust me. We still haven't nailed it either. We're, we're doing good. This is the first stop of the carpet. We're not all glistening and sweaty, so you guys got the perfect spot. Okay, that's good Amazing. to know. Now tell us about uh, the project that you guys are nominated for. Yes, oh, good, good. I love my brother. Oh, that's my brother. Well, no, we, uh, so we, you know, we're nominated for a song called Nobody Us Nobody that was off our, our recent self-titled album, Brothers Osborne. We just we felt like you know we wanted to be a little more narcissistic than we already are, so we we're gonna go double double brothers Osmond. No, and so that being nominated for that album is, is really really special. We've worked really hard on it. It's been years since we've released new music, and we felt like John and I we've shared a lot about our lives since our last album, which is why we wanted to self-title this. So it it means a lot to us to to be here, particularly for that one. Is it hard working together, or you know, yeah. do you I work mean, well yes. together? Yeah, yeah. yes, <laughs> it, it is. I mean, we're brothers. Everyone always asks, my joke is everyone always asks, I can never imagine working with my brother. And I say, we should try working with my brother. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, yes, it is hard because we're brothers, but at the end of the day, we both genuinely care about it, you know? And there are way more positives that far outweigh the negatives. And honestly, it makes these events way easier. I can't imagine having to do this on your own would be so overwhelming, but we got, always got family in our corner. Yeah, totally. You know, the other thing that's really amazing about it is, you know, we get to experience all these things, these amazing things together, you know? I mean, if you're like been somewhere and you're like, oh my God, I wish someone could see how beautiful this was and you were by yeah. yourself. Yeah. So to be on this side of it and get to have the success that we've had and be able to be with each other while we've done it, it's just it's made it all like just unbelievably special. Yeah. Guys, congratulations. So Best of luck to you. Thanks yeah. for stopping by. Have a you. great night. Good to Bye, see you guys. guys. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> We are here with Mark Ronson, Grammy nominee tonight for Song of the Year. Best compilation soundtrack for visual media, best score soundtrack for visual media, best song <laughs> written for visual media. Ooh, it's a mouthful. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry you had to say all of that. It's but all it, good. It's, it's very exciting. Yeah. For sure. I yeah. gotta put some respect on that Thank because you very that much. is amazing. You did. It was honorable. Thank you. For sure. It's such an honor to meet you. What was it like working on this song in this iconic movie, having this huge cultural moment? I mean, like, does it still blow you by surprise? It really does. You know, when we're the first song that we got, like, the, the first two songs we wrote were Dance the Night and I'm Just Ken. And when we had Do It, when she said, I'm gonna do it, like, that our first artist on board was Dua Lipa and we had this song, it really felt like we had just set the bar, like it really, this could be a really special soundtrack. And then because people love Greta so much, then when it started to be Billy, Charlie XCX, all these other people coming in. And then of course, Ryan with his song. Yeah. I mean, Dance the Night was kind of like the song of the summer. Like when you were writing that, producing it, did you feel like, did you know, were you like, this, this is, this is good? <laughs> I mean, you always want to, it was funny, like when, when I first started working with Greta, she wrote this thing like, so we just need this summer smash. And you're like, yeah, that's easy to say. Like, I, we all love a summer smash. But really, we worked so hard on that. We rewrote that song three or four times to really get it to what it was. And it was really cool. Like, do it. this was basically her comeback single. So it was like really her putting her thing on the line. And so to hear it on the radio all summer was really wonderful. Absolutely. How did it feel to just be a part of a cultural phenomenon and just an inspiring message to yeah, young women. I know, it, it really was like, I, I was so moved by the film, even the script, and then to be, I went on opening night to see it in Times Square and just the, the group of people and like the cross section and there were like Muslim girls in pink headscarves and like dudes in like pink polo shirts. Like it was just, it brought everyone together in this lovely way and then it was such a great message. Now, what are you going to do to celebrate tonight? After the show is over, you, you know, you can let loose a little. Yeah. Right? You're going with this. That, that face you <laughs> looked like I could go right to bed. <laughs> could maybe go right to bed. We have a one-year-old daughter, me and my wife. So, yeah. like, we'll, but maybe we'll party a little. Who knows? Yeah. How much inspiration are you finding from your one-year-old daughter being a dad now? Um, a lot, actually. You know, it's, it's something about I've always just been, like, someone who stays in the studio all the time, and now it's, like, there's no song or idea more important than bath time, you know, like getting home. So that I love. Yeah. Maybe there's a children's album in your future. <laughs> She's, I love to, you know, I play her music. She sits at the piano and like bangs the keys. I, I don't want to force it, but yeah. Oh, Mark, thank you so much for stopping by. Congratulations. Yeah. Have a great night. A great you deserve night. it. Yes. Awesome meeting you. Thank so nice you. to meet you. Yeah. You know, 
the looks we're seeing today just don't happen. You know, because they don't happen. That's right. The right stylist is nice to have, but even more important, the right tools. Let's take a look at the very popular tool that helped me get red carpet ready, the iconic Dyson Airwrap Multi-Styler. It's perfect. Oh, hi. When I found out I was going to be back on Grammy Live from the red carpet, I knew I wanted my look to be polished and I knew we could pull off whatever style we decided with the versatile Dyson Airwrap. It has an attachment for everything. Barrels for curls or waves, brushes to smooth. It even has a smoothing dryer for flyaways. And what's better, it does it with no heat damage. I mean, is there a Grammy for best multi-styler? Thanks, Dyson Airwrap. Let's head back to the red carpet. We're here with Adam Blackstone, nominated tonight in the Best Jazz Performance category and Best Jazz Instrumental yeah. Album. Woo! Better come with it. <laughs> I got two nominations this year. I'm so thankful. It's been a whirlwind of emotion and uh, looking forward to seeing what happens. Where were you when you got that call that these nominations were happening? Ironically enough, I was at my daughter's gymnastics class <laughs> and my phone started going crazy and I went right to my wife's message and it said, congratulations. I was like, what happened? <laughs> and it was cool and so, so very thankful. And, and then I went back to the real gig, which is watching my children, so. Yep. Ain't that true? That's took real a, life, a right? Second to have real life and then took a quick second to not have real life and then back to real life. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Um, what is something that really inspires your music? Just a couple things. I think the same thing, the legacy of knowing that I have uh, offspring that look up to me and my wife and to try to do the best that I can to uh, show them that all things are possible. I think when I was growing up, I, I've been dreaming about this trophy for a long time, but never knew how I would be involved and get there. And so um, having these nominations, especially as a young African-American male allows my son, allows my daughter, allows our nieces and nephews and everybody to see that all things are possible. If you work hard, put God first, dream big, trust God, we can get to the Grammys and here we are. Amen, amen. Adam, that was inspirational. Good luck to you yes. tonight. Good luck. Yeah, thank you so much. I just want to shout out my number one trophy. Yes. My wife, Kaisha. Yes. <laughs> Looking so good in the Barbie paint. Yes. Gorgeous. You guys both look great. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Thank y'all so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great night, guys. We are here with Jacob Collier, Grammy nominee, Best Arrangement Instruments and Vocals and a quite stylish Grammy nominee. How are you feeling? Thanks so much. I'm feeling great. How are you feeling? I'm great. We've been here. The, rack, the, the red rain carpet's is rocking. rocking and rolling. Yeah. The rain's rolling. <laughs> it's popping up for sure. Absolutely. The rain's coming, starting to come down out there. Yes, it yeah. is. It yeah. is. How are you feeling tonight? What are you most excited about? Oh, so many things. Um, it's wonderful to see so many friends, people I admire, amazing musicians. Um, not only am I nominated this year, but I'm also accompanying Joni Mitchell. Um, in her performance, which is just like the honor of a lifetime. Wow. So that's going to be the, the part I'm most excited about for sure. Insane. So what went through your mind when you found out that you're going to be performing with right. Joni Mitchell? Like what? It was unbelievable. Yeah. I've I looked up to Joni for my entire life and will look up to her for the remainder of my life. And she's such a deeply important musician for all of us who write songs and craft things and so thoughtful and deep and revolutionary in her way, you know, yes. spectacular. And I'm sure you already had a rehearsal, right? Were you were you nervous walking into that rehearsal? Um, I, well, I've, I've hung up with Joni before, so I wasn't breaking it too much, but I, I, I was wondering how she'd be doing. And she's just so present and sound, and her voice is so, like, moving, and instant goosebumps, you know, all of that stuff. So it's, it's a very, very exciting day, for sure. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the project you're nominated for. Oh, yeah, so um, I'm nominated for a friend of mine's project. Uh, the group is called Sage. They're a four-part female all acapella group. Um, and I crafted an arrangement of a song called In the Wee Small Hours of the Morning with them. They're four incredibly inspiring women, really dear friends of mine, and I'm really honored to be a part of it. 
Yeah. Jacob, thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great Grammys. Congratulations. Thanks. Good luck in the performance tonight. Thanks very much. Have a wonderful Have a good night. One. Thank cheerio. you. Bye. -bye. <laughs> cheerio. Yes, cheerio. <laughs> We're here with Samara Joy, nominated tonight in the Best Jazz Performance category. Also a two-time Grammy winner, last year's Best New Artist winner. <laughs> How has life changed for you since that moment? It's been so busy. I'm, it's almost, it doesn't even feel like it's been a whole year since all this has happened. It feels like five. <laughs> but it feels very nice to be back, you know, especially with a first-time nominee here. Best Arrangement, Instrumental or Vocals, um, but it's a really great experience. It's so funny, I remember talking to you last year and you have a calm, like, reserved, like, I'm a Grammy winner now. <laughs> I've seen all of this before, you know. Yeah, a veteran. <laughs> but it's really, it's really nice to, to come back and have it be, you know, now I can really enjoy it without all the anxiety and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I went to the Clive Gala last night, you know, yes. had fun, danced with Victoria Monet, you know, uh -huh. Isley Brothers and stuff, so I'm feeling good. <laughs> Amazing. Now, you're a first-time nominee, so how is all of this uh, for you? Well, you know, it's different, but, <laughs> you know, I'm enjoying it. It's a, it's a beautiful experience to be here and to be able to support Samara here. And, you know, we're just having fun. You know, my parents are up, and so it's just a beautiful time. We're nice. enjoying it. Where were you when you got that nomination? In Paris. We were, we're overseas. Um, at the top of this building, I, I can't tell you, like a cathedral. Yeah, there we go. That's where we found out wow. about the nominations. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. It's great. 290 steps. Yes. And then it was like, oh, we have a connection. <laughs> we got it, you oh know. Gosh, we're on top of the world, on top of the world. Yeah. <laughs> the world on top of the world, exactly. Exactly. Now I gotta ask you, mm -hmm. where do you keep your Grammys? Oh, I don't want to say with my parents. We moved, um, but <laughs> but with my parents, they they enjoy it. They enjoy calling their friends and being like, look. Anytime I go anywhere with my mother now, she's like, look. She pulls my, me up on Google. <laughs> you see that girl over there in the hoodie? It's her. <laughs> so, That's my girl. Yes, exactly. Yeah. As a proud mama, she should. Indeed, as she should. I can't even, you know, she deserves it. She yeah. deserves it. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck. Good luck. Have a great Have a great night. Enjoy it. Yeah, you look take beautiful. All right, take it. Bye. We're here with Jelly Roll nominated tonight in the Best New Artist category and Best Pop Duo Group Performance. The night is finally here. I've been seeing you all week at Grammy events. How does it feel to finally be here? Oh man, you feel uh, you feel seen, I feel recognized, and I feel like I represent an entire group of people that maybe have historically not been seen or recognized. So I'm, uh, I'm not even here tonight to win, I'm here to represent. Now Jelly Roll, you are, I think, known for your motivational speeches by now. Where did those come from? Do you prepare anything, or is this just like from the heart and who you are? No, it's just from the heart, man. I feel like if I prepared, that mean I was cocky enough to think I was going to actually win something. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think I'm going to win tonight, especially, man. There's so much talent. I think this is probably arguably one of the greatest new artist pulls they've had. I don't know, maybe since Winehouse and Taylor, right? Yeah. Where were you when you got that nomination? Oh, man, I was laying in bed with my wife. We were so old, we were trying to figure out how to stream it and couldn't, so we had to wait for it to come up online. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah. Now, what would you tell your younger self about what is happening tonight? Like, would you even believe it? I would tell them that there's an old, old quote in the Bible that says the faith of a mustard seed can move a mountain. And young man, mountains will move for you one day, and you don't even know it. My favorite is be strong and courageous for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And he is with you tonight, sir. Yes, he is. And this whole journey, I feel like you're on such a roll right now. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. You and your wife are good people. Yes, thank you. That's what we want to be. That's what I want to be remembered for more than anything is just being a good human. Because I was not a good human for so long. I'm making a tad change. <laughs> there you go. Change thank y'all, man. Fun. Thank, Thank you. you so Congratulations. Much. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Good <laughs> luck fun.
We are here with the one and only Kylie Minogue. Oh my gosh, Grammy nominee for Best Pop Dance Recording. Kylie, you came from Vegas, you made it here. How's it going? Yeah, like everyone through the rain, slightly drenched. <laughs> uh, I'm so thrilled to be here, this is so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to tonight? Everything. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, seeing the performances, just much like the, the events leading up to tonight, just being with other members of this incredible industry, you know, writers, uh, performers. Oh, it's just, it's, it's kind of overwhelming, but it's brilliant. Now you've had an amazing career that has spanned decades in the music in industry, which is really, really special. What is it you think that keeps you going, that keeps you making fresh new music? What inspires you? Uh, I'm very curious. <laughs> uh, I'm driven. Uh, and I think there's always, you know, if you are open to it and you're willing to, to, to look and feel, there's inspiration everywhere. And I think another, another helpful ele element for me is that I'm, I am a chameleon. I like change. I mean, not changing is more weird to me than evolving with the time. So very thankful I've had so many opportunities over the years to, to keep going. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, we are so happy you keep going because yeah. you have made yeah. it. And uh, love to everyone out there. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Gotta love her. We are here with Noah Khan and his mom, but he is a Best New Artist nominee. How does it feel to hear your name in that category? It's surreal, it's unbelievable. My mom's been telling me since I was 13, but I didn't believe her until I heard it. Aww, I read that your mom is the woman in your life that has kept you grounded. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, my, my mom was with me, driving me to all the open mics around the Upper Valley in Vermont, New Hampshire, and she, uh, has been there for every show where no one was there and everyone was talking. And every time I come home, I feel like I'm a little kid again. And my mom is, is um, my closest ally and the person I look up to the most. Amazing. Now, how are you guys going to celebrate tonight? I mean, that's a big night. Mom, what do you think? It's up to you, really. You make the rules. <laughs> I'm just so excited. We've already, he's already won. We got here and he did exactly what he promised he would do and he promised it to himself. Oh, I am so proud of him. When did you first see the music man and him? Well, he's been writing songs since he was eight and recording songs on an iPod or, you know, a computer since then. I never once doubted that he would get here someday. And it's been wonderful. Noah, where were you when you got that call that you were going to be a, a Best New Artist Grammy nominee? I was in Leeds, England, in a pretty mediocre green room. Uh, it smelled bad because everyone had been eating lunch in there and it was just me. <laughs> with a candle and uh, I heard my name get called and I went through every human emotion in five minutes. It was the most amazing experience. And that was like a victory in itself. Just like hearing my name get called was a dream come true and I felt like I was a little kid. Were you all alone in this room? I was alone, yeah, I was alone. <laughs> I was sitting there by myself and uh, just didn't want anyone to see me if I didn't get it and didn't want anyone to see me if I did get it, so yeah. Well, thank you so much for stopping and talking with us tonight. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Take it all in. Have a great day. We're going to have fun. Thank you.
We're here with Lauren Daigle, nominated tonight in the Best Contemporary Christian Music Performance and Song and Best Contemporary Christian Music Album. You're no stranger to the Grammys, <laughs> no. girl. It feels good to be back, though. I'm like, oh my gosh, what a beautiful night. Exactly. Yes. Now, what about um, the project that you created, that you're nominated for? What do you think resonated with your peers? Oh, man, that's quite a question. Well, I worked with an incredible team, Mike Elizondo. I have to, like, take my hat off to him, literally, <laughs> pun intended. Nice. He was remarkable. The people that played on this record, all the musicianship, but the collaborative efforts of just joy and keeping music pure in the way we create, I think that's really what people gravitated toward, the sonic space of it all and just the heart and soul behind it. I think, uh, yeah, I think it's what landed us here. Amazing. Lauren, you have such a beautiful, I mean, like you can, your spirit just radiates from yeah, you. Aura. What inspires you? Oh, people, yeah. all the way. Like I, I walk down the street and I see people and my heart just, I get uplifted just from that, you know? Stories, I love stories. I love finding out what is it about people that make them move and have and be the way that they are, you know? Um, so I love stories. I love people. And I feel like every day I had, especially during COVID years, it was like this moment of recognizing what is going to wake me up out of bed every morning? Like, what is the thing that's going to be that says, you know what, even though you're not doing what you love right now, what can get you up? And it was joy. Like, just saying, God, I need you to give me joy every single day because that's the thing that will get me moving, you know? So I would say that joy inspires me as well. I love that. That is so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Congratulations. Have a yes. great night tonight. You look amazing. Thank you. And you're bringing joy yeah. to the world. So yes, thank you. Are. Lauren. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All right. Bye-bye. All right, we are with Yolanda Adams, four-time Grammy Award winner. Yes, Woo! Round of applause. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, this is an exciting day. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. I am here to enjoy all the festivities with my friends. The Clark Sisters got their Lifetime Achievement Award, so we're just really excited about that. Really excited about all of the pre-show, definitely the big show. Um, it's it's a time and a day when music has changed the landscape of life, and it's done that forever. So we're hoping to see some of our great performers do magnificent performances, you know, and, and of course we want, um, who do we want to win? We want everybody to win. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> because if I can start calling out uh, <laughs> names and songs and stuff like right. that, I'll get in trouble. I know, there's a lot of amazing nominees oh and female, female-dominated Grammys. Yes. How are you feeling about that? Come on now. I mean, hey, you know, I've known me the longest, so <laughs> I love the fact that women are finally getting our due. You know, we, we've heard people say, well, you know, there are not enough producers, there are not enough engineers, there are not enough songwriters. And I'm like, hey, we're here, you know? And so tonight we'll get a chance to see that. So I really love that. Absolutely. Now, what have you got coming up in 2024? Is there any new music? You got to tell us. OK, yes. yes. <laughs> new music. Shout out to Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. I love you guys so much. Uh, new music. Miss Sylvia Roan is at the she's spearheading the project. So we're really excited about that. More Kingdom Business season three is coming up. Yay. And so my daughter is out here acting. So we're you know, she has a few movies on Tubi already. Okay. So we're okay. trying to make sure that this is the year of the lady. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes absolutely. Well, you guys look amazing. You're amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. Enjoy the Grammy. Uh, we will. Have so much fun. Ah, thanks <laughs> thank so much. Thank you. Bye -bye.
We're here with Aaron Allen Kane, who is has just won Woo! Best Rap Performance. <laughs> <laughs> and you just found out. Tell us how I you found out. I found out in the Uber I, that we won three Grammys. So we're done with it. <laughs> I'm here, though. Yeah, it took a while, but we're here. We did it. Take us back to when you were nominated. What, where were you? How was that feeling? Um, I was at my friend's hung over. I woke up hung over and I just had like 20 messages like, let's go. So that was it. <laughs> yeah, it was it was exciting. It was kind of surreal. I didn't really it didn't set in until like a few days later. And now that nomination has turned into a win. Where are you gonna keep your Grammys? Oh, I don't know. I, in my bathroom where I spend the most time. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Just keep reminding yourself. Hey, right? Yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. While I'm sitting there, I it's the best that. place to right. think and write. <laughs> yeah, my Grammy will be on my, my, my shelf in my bathroom. Amazing. Now, yeah. um, how does it feel to be, or to be voted to win by your peers? Right? It's so amazing. I have so many beautifully talented friends. There's other nominate, nominees here tonight. Um, that I collaborated with. So a few others, Aja Monet and Rhiannon Giddens. I collaborated on their nominations. So I'm just like, I think everyone is so tremendously talented and I'm just happy to be amongst all of these beautiful people. <laughs> That's right. Now the red carpet obviously is for music, but it's more for fashion. So tell me about this look. Oh, this is Claire Sullivan, Miss Claire Sullivan designed this. We kind of collaborated. It's a message behind it, but I don't want to speak too much on it. We can just kind of let people <laughs> interpret it. But she did a beautiful job, I think. She's Amazing. a wonderful, wonderful stylist and designer. You look beautiful. You're a winner. Congratulations. Yay, so excited. Now I get to just have fun and relax. Yes, I'm going to go chill now. What are you going to do after the show? I was supposed to walk on stage. I'm like, I don't even get to walk on stage. <laughs> That's OK. I'm going to strut my stuff down the aisle. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome. Have Good a great job. evening. Bye-bye. <laughs> We're here with Coco Jones, a Best New Artist nominee. But Ooh. on top of that, she's also nominated for Best R&B Album, Best R&B Song, Best Traditional R&B Performance, and Best, yeah. I mean, there's just so many. <laughs> there's so girl, many, you're just racking up nominations. No wonder you can barely keep it together right now. <laughs> saying, I'm literally fighting for my sanity right now. I cannot believe this is my real life. It's yeah. hitting me. Yeah, this is a big, big moment. Where were you when you got the call that all these nominations were happening? I was actually on a plane. I was asleep. And I thought that by the time I landed, the nominations would be announced. But I guess I had the timing wrong for the time switch. And I kept feeling these vibrations. I thought the plane had so much turbulence. And I woke <laughs> up to all of these congratulations. Um, and they kept saying five. And I didn't know until I landed that I had five nominations. I was the last to know. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I got just now you're telling that story. It's crazy. it's crazy. The first thing I did was call my mom. We just screamed, cried, looked back at the journey. And that's why I can barely keep it together right now. <laughs> and you got your mom <laughs> to the side here with you literally, tonight. Literally, literally like, can barely look over there. What does it mean to have her support? Because I know you've been, you've been working for a long time to have her support. What does that mean to you? Um, my mom's support sometimes was the only support I had, you know? And so... Um, Woo, thank you, Lord. <laughs> I'm great, and it's great, and it's just, it's just too, too much. It's too great, too great. 
Literally, literally. So it's great. <laughs> literally. That's all you need to know. That one syllable. <laughs> what would you tell that little girl, little Coco? I'm oh, sorry. I just want to fine. know. That's now, fine. you know, now looking back, all that hard work you put into, you know, music and your talents and everything. Like, what would you tell her in those when those times were like when you didn't believe in yourself? Um, I would tell my younger self that the the industry should never determine your worth. And once you figure that out, you're gonna be so much more happy and things will just fall into your hands because you're not trying to hold on to them so tightly. And so the best thing I would tell her is to hurry up and find your true self, not who you think you need to be to win, because that's when you really win. Okay. There you go. Remember that line. <laughs> there you go. That's a good one. That's good for your acceptance speech later uh, on. You, you know. You know. Yeah, I wrote a little draft this morning. And I'm just holding on my thread. Exactly. Coco, thank you so much. You look gorgeous. Stunning. Best of oh luck God. to you. Have fun. Yes. Thank you. Girl, you I earned know. it. Have fun. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We are here with the War and Treaty nominated tonight. You guys are nominated in the best new artist category. How does it feel to be nominated in that category? It's surreal. I mean, you know, I always say God makes all things new. <laughs> so we're new and it's, you know, we're new to somebody. So I'm very happy that the 10 years we've been doing this, we're able to be nominated as best new artist. <laughs> right, exactly. Now, okay, so. IBM is using generative AI to mine thousands of trusted sources and produce AI stories with IBM Watson X. There are these really cool insights and narratives about artists you can find on Grammy.com and the Recording Academy social channels. And I have to share this great line that Watson X generated about you two. And I quote, with two Grammy nominations, the war and treaty are definitely winning the battle for our ears. Right, I wow. love that, I love that. So what do you guys think? Is the war and treaty winning hearts, minds, and ears? I guess if AI said so, that means it's, it's so. Yeah, you won mine. <laughs> That's, that feels so good. Yeah. I mean, so many people don't think about the long game. and They just think of like, you know, I gotta get all while I can right now because it's gonna be over, but I'm thinking about the long game. You know, I wanna be creating art until the day I die and inspiring people to the day I die. And I wanna do it with my wife, Tanya. So that's all I'm thinking about right now. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> How is it working together as a husband and wife duo? It, there's no change from the marriage to the music. And uh, people say you have to balance it out. There's no such thing as balance. <laughs> I mean, you have to just be you and he and let each other shine where you shine and support each other any way you can. And I think the biggest thing is you just let go of egos. And wherever there's no ego, and there's argue. always success. Argue all the time. Yeah. Don't you like yeah. making up after the argument? Yeah. He, <laughs> yeah. oh, there you argue. go. <laughs> do you guys find inspiration like everywhere or do you have to like sit down in a special room and write or things happening in the kitchen, happen in the living room? Um, I like quiet, so I get inspired when it's quiet, and I listen to like rain music, like you know, really surreal kind of stuff. But you know, Michael's different. I think that's everywhere, happens. everywhere, everywhere. I'm reminded of the legendary gospel group, the Winans, and uh, they wrote a song that said, "Everything he touches is a song." So that's what I'm vibing on. Everywhere. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for stopping and talking with us tonight. Wait, before you leave, okay. we have got to talk about the fashion because all, yes. all Grammy week, right. these two have been killing it with the fashion. <laughs> so tell us what inspired this look tonight. Well, my mom is from Panama and uh, this dress is from Norma Kamali. So I had the Bluff Agency kind of embellish it with some Tabelkas. Uh, from can, the can Panama. I, can I do this? Yeah. Can yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. Little turn. Oh. Lovely lady. Oh. Yes. Some flowers because she's no longer with us, so I wanted to have her represented on my dress tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What about you? I'm wearing a custom piece from Demerly, and he's actually from Ukraine, so I'm excited to wear this piece. You guys are definitely shining on the red carpet. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye. <laughs>
The Grammy Awards broadcast kicks off at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, live on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus with Showtime. For highlights of the red carpet interviews with Grammy Award winners and performers and exclusive access backstage, visit Grammy.com for complete coverage. All right, we are with Carly Pierce, presenter. How are you feeling tonight? You are nominated for Best Country Duo Group Performance. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. It's my second time here and uh, just honored to be nominated again. Now, wait, is it true that you slid into Chris Stapleton's DMs to ask him to be a part of your song? Well, better yet, I slid into his wife Morgan's DMs. Oh, smart. Because you always go to the woman, you know? Yes. And yes, yes, I did. And it worked out for me. It worked out for you. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, tell us about what you're excited for tonight. This is my second time to the Grammys. Obviously, it's just such an honor to get to be here and just to see all the incredible music across every genre that's going to be performed and celebrated tonight. Absolutely. Is there anyone you're spe like, is hoping to see talk to on the red carpet or at the award ceremony? Oh gosh, there are so many. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm a Swifty, so I'd love to see Taylor. <laughs> there you go. So are we. <laughs> Carly, thanks so much for stopping by. Best of luck for you tonight. Thank you. Thank gorgeous. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We're here with CeeLo Green, a past nominee, and decked out in Grammy gold tonight. <laughs> yeah, tell us about these looks, because they are absolutely amazing. This is a custom piece from uh, Muto Little, our good, very good friends and collaborators over the years, based here in uh, California. Yes. And uh, I'm, I'm doing vintage. Can you tell them more about yeah, so I'm a, doing a vintage piece, a vintage uh, inspired piece, should I say. It's a vintage custom piece. And um, I'm doing a piece of artwork on my hair that is created by outfitters here locally in Los Angeles. Amazing. I did ask you how long that took, and you were like, no, no, no. 
nine hours. This is this is an art piece. Take time, baby. Take time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Art is not created in a moment. Um, speaking of amazing art, there's going to be incredible performers tonight at the Grammys. Who are you guys looking forward to see? Oh, man. Oh, give me my top five who are performing. Oh, my gosh. You got Billie Eilish, yeah. Dua Lipa, Joni Mitchell, Joni Olivia Mitchell. Rodrigo, SZA. Yeah. yeah. Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell. Yeah. yeah. We're also looking forward to our sister, Fantasia. Yes. Yes. So yes. she, we know she's going to kill it. So we love you, Fantasia. And we also want to give a, a salute of congratulations. To, to Killer, Killer Mike, Mike for yes. winning yes. Uh, today. Perfect. I'm a part of their project as well. So, uh, yeah, we, we did it for Atlanta. Well, you guys, it's so good to see you. Yes. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thanks for showing up in your Grammy Gold. Yes. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you for having us. Right. Thank, thank you. Bye. Have a great night. <laughs> We're here with Gabby Moreno, who is a performer tonight at the premiere ceremony, but she's also nominated in the Best Latin Pop Album category. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Super exciting to be here. Now, what can you tell us about your premiere performance? Um, well, I'm going to perform a song that's part of the album that's nominated. Uh, it's a beautiful song that is actually from Guatemala, where I'm from. And I'm going to be performing it with my dear friend, David Aguilar, who came all the way from Mexico. And yeah, we're really excited <laughs> to, to do this. Gabby, your music is so rich and soulful. What inspires you? Oh my goodness, so much. I mean, obviously all kinds of music. Um, I grew up in Guatemala and I love Latin music from, from any kind of folkloric, boleros, you know, those kinds of styles. But I also love blues and jazz and soul and R&B. And so I love mixing it all together. And yeah, music in general and then, you know, life, like life experiences, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I got to ask about this outfit because it looks stunning. Thank so tell you. us what was the inspiration behind your look? Well, we're trying to go for like a 1950s glam thing. It's a Marquisa. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling, feeling good in it. Feeling good, <laughs> looking good. gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Best of luck to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great performance. <laughs> Stay tuned for more episodes of the new Grammy.com series, Family Matters, coming this spring. and the only Jordan Sparks Grammy nominee tonight for Best Contemporary Christian Music Performance Song. Jordan, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, it's chilly, but, yeah. I, but I'm good. I'm glad that I made it. Um, I'm excited to be back here after the first time, which was like 15 years ago. So it's an honor to be nominated once and it's incredible to be nominated again. Yeah. How does mm -hmm. it feel to be nominated for this specific piece of work? 
It feels really good. You know, the song really resonated with me for King and Country called me and said, hey, do you want to hop on this song with me? And I, I was just like, of course I would. I listened to the song and it means so much. You know, everybody wants to be loved like they are, exactly where they're at at that point in life. And um, I really wanted to, to share that message. So, so the fact that it touched so many people to get to this stage is, is pretty incredible. Absolutely, and now you're here, yes. and you're, <laughs> and you look gorgeous. You gotta tell us about this dress because it is a work of art. Yes. So this dress is Zig Mon, and I found it last minute. Um, was scrambling. That is the story of my life when it comes to big events. I think I have everything done, and then at the last minute, I'm like. Okay, let's fix this. Um, but I got it from this amazing showroom called The Show Must Go On. And Love they were that. really incredible, right? Yeah. They're so amazing. Yeah. And I called them last minute. I was like, I need to come in and find something. And we made it work. So it was really cool working with my stylist, working with them. Um, and we got it together. Okay, we got it together. Got it together. Jordan, your voice is so beautiful. You always ha share such an inspirational message. Do we have more music coming from you this year? Tell us. Do we have more music? <laughs> yes, we do. I have a new album that I'm working on. I just released the first single last fall called Call My Name. And um, yeah, it's a little different than what people are used to, but it, it very much represents who I am now as a person, as a mom, as a wife, as a woman, as an artist. And um, the title is called No Restrictions. I don't know if I'm supposed to, I hope my manager doesn't get mad at me, uh, but it's because that's, it represents where I am at this time. I don't want to be tied down. I want to be able to experiment with what I want to experiment with in terms of the music and my voice and play around with what I can do. Um, and I think when you start to make things for yourself from that point, it really resonates with everybody else. So I'm very excited for this to get to people's ears. Yeah, I we bet I, you've been in this business for a long time and it feels like you're finally at this moment where you're like, wait a second. Everything's kind of making sense and I just want to do, I want to be my who I am. Yes, exactly. And I mean, I think it takes artists, we all have those moments where we're like, okay, now I understand what I'm doing. Or like it clicks, not necessarily the understanding because I've always understood the music part, but the understanding that, oh, it doesn't have to be for everybody else. It can just be for me and that's okay. Um, so I'm really, really excited to get these out or get this album out to everybody and hopefully I'll be here next year. That's what I'm manifesting. What would, I mean, you're so inspirational. What would you say to younger artists who are out there trying to be the next Jordan Sparks? Yes. What, what inspiration can you give them? Man, be on time. Okay, <laughs> be on time. Um, respect other people's time, you know, because we're all just out here trying to make it and trying to create the best art that we can. Um, also, just make sure it's something you really want to do. This is a lot. It requires a lot. It requires a lot of sacrifice, exhaustion sometimes. It requires like maybe picking and choosing like, oh, I can't go to this, but I have to go to that. Um, and sometimes people won't understand what you're doing, you know, and I guess what I would say to that is, uh, not everybody can understand your journey because God didn't give them your vision. So just stay in your lane, do what you do for you. Not stay in your lane in a mean way, but like you don't have to be distracted by everybody else because there's room for all of us. So I guess that's what I would say. I love that. Yeah, I thank, you. That. thank you. And you have a daughter, right? My son. Your son, you have a boy. Is he watching from home? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he might be playing, uh, you know, on his little handheld game game thing today because it's a, a weekend. But um, he knew that I was coming today and he gave me like six, seven hugs before I left. Good luck, mommy. And when he saw it was raining, he was like, I don't think you should go today. You should stay home with me. And I was like, I would love to do that. So as soon as we get done with the carpet and as soon as we get done with the show, I'm headed back to my little one. Yeah. Oh gosh, I love it. You're such a good mama. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Congratulations. Best of luck to yeah. you. And we can't wait to hear more. Yes. Have a great night. <laughs> Bye, Jordan.
We are with Justin Tranter, 66th Grammy nominee, seven songwriter of the year, non-classical. Um, tell us everything. My gosh, you've been a busy, busy guy. I mean, I love writing songs and I love to write them all as much as possible. And being nominated for songwriter of the year is such an honor. And then I got to host the pre-telecast, the premiere ceremony for the Grammys. And that was amazing. See a bunch of friends and celebrate them too. You just got back from that, right? You just ran over. I walked off stage about nine seconds ago, I think. <laughs> maybe, maybe 12. Yeah. It's hot off the stage. Now, who, now that you've gone through all of that, your job for that part is done. Yes. You got the telecast tonight. Who are you excited to see? I mean, I'm like a Billie Eilish super fan, uh, which is odd because I'm like friendly with her and I'm, and I'm close with Phineas. So it's a weird like super fan, like your friend's sister, but I think she's a genius. Um, also, you know, other great friends of mine, Dua Lipa. There's a lot of amazing people performing tonight that I'm excited to see. Oh, and is Joni Mitchell happening? Is that yes, a Yes, it's happening. Yeah. Yep. Joni Get Mitchell. Ready. It's I, 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 will, I probably won't be leaving. I won't be walking out of this, this <laughs> arena because of that. Now, Justin, this is only the second year that the Grammys has ha have had an award for songwriters. Yeah. So, like, what does that inclusion mean for you? Yeah, for songwriters to be given a, a platform and a celebration uh, is so important because, one, we're awesome, but, <laughs> but two, um, you know, songwriters' rights are really at risk right now and we aren't really being taken care of. And my life is wonderful, but the next generation of songwriters is going to have a really hard time financially surviving if things don't change. So for the Grammys to give us a platform to celebrate songwriters means that we're given a platform to advocate for ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Long time coming, and now, thank God, it's here. Well, I mean, when I tell, like, friends of mine, even musicians, that, like, this is the second year for yeah. this category, that I'm one of the first 10 people to ever be nominated, they're like, how was this not existing since the beginning of the Grammys? And I'm like, you got to call them. I can't, right? I can't answer that for you. <laughs> and now there's a songwriters and composer wing, too. Yes. I mean, that's got to be amazing for songwriters. It, yeah, the songwriters and composers wing that I have been, uh, you know, try to help as much as I can and be involved as much as I can. It is so special that we have that, you know, to, to, to just keep elevating our platform more and more and more. Um, I, we can't let you leave without discussing this fashion. Yes. You're known for your fashion. Tell us. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it was made for you. Tell us everything. It was. So I had three outfits made, custom outfits made for to hosting. And then this one just felt like the, the red carpet look. So this is by Ashton Michael, who is an L.A. local designer. So we're representing for our city. Um, and uh, I just, it's a tribute also to my band. I was in a band called Semi Precious Weapons. And I had a jacket that was covered in grommets. So we did a jumpsuit with like a little grommet accent, you know, to, to pay tribute to the fans that got me here. I love it. I love Ashton Michael. He's amazing. He's the best. Love him. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thank stopping you. and talking with us. Have a great Appreciate night tonight. You. Good luck. Best Thanks. of luck. We're here with Allison Russell, nominated tonight in the Best Americana Album, Best American Roots Song, and Best Americana Performance. And you are looking like Grammy gold. 
<laughs> How are you feeling tonight? I'm thrilled. And in fact, we just found out that we won the Best American Roots performance for Eve Was Black. So it's my first win. It's joyful. And it's not just me. It's my whole circle of collaborators, the Rainbow Coalition. So we're thrilled. Allison, you're so calm and cool yeah. and collected after you just won. Well, I around and being wild and crazy earlier but I trying to be decorous for the people at home yeah yeah so where are you gonna keep this new Grammy of yours well my daughter Ida is very excited about it so I suspect it's gonna go in her bedroom on her mantelpiece yeah you know yeah. What? that's good it'll give her something to aspire to I mean mama yeah. is is doing big yes. things and she's a young artist too so yeah yeah, yeah. How much has she inspired you? Completely. She's given me so much. I feel like I've become more courageous. I've become um, more of a truth teller. I've taken more risks. I have not wanted to show my daughter that women can't do anything, right? We can do everything. And so I want to do everything for her, and I want to reduce harm in this world for her, and I want to build coalitions of loving, good people for her. So, yeah, leave things better than we found them. and. Becoming a mother has been, has been a great impetus and galvanizer for that. Yes. Yeah. Now, how does it feel to be nominated for the piece of work that you're nominated for? It feels really, really significant to, for for a song that I wrote um, as as a as really a an open letter and a calling in to my adoptive father who um, he was raised in a white supremacist place. You know, suffers from a violent ideology that was imposed upon him as a child and has caused him to become a violent person. And I wrote it not as a calling out because I don't believe in shaming or blaming. I think it's all about calling in. It's all about recognizing our shared and equal humanity. And for me, forgiveness is what I've been working on, but also truth telling and not hiding from the past and not hiding from anything anything that's difficult because we can overcome these things together right and so for that song to be nominated and recognized in the American Roots category felt really significant and felt like a lot of progress for our recording academy um, and for Roots music as well for artists like me to, to be acknowledged it was a big deal Allison, you're so beautiful. Thank you so much for stopping by. Best of luck to you and congratulations yes. already. Congratulations. Have Grammy a great winner. night. You Okay, this woman really doesn't need any introduction, but it is the one and the only Paris Hilton is here. How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. It's so exciting to be here tonight. It's a little bit rainy outside, but we are all here. You made it. You're giant. You look incredible. Who are you wearing? I'm wearing Rimaka. I wanted to go for like a mermaid vibe tonight. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Now, Thank you're you. a music artist yourself, DJ all around the world. Who tonight are you here, I mean, who here tonight are you excited to see or want to do a collab with? I'm excited to see Miley because I love her so much. And Coyle Ray, I just saw her on the red carpet, so we're going to do a song together. And just finishing up my second album right now, which Sia is executive producing, so it's just been amazing to be back in the studio. And when is that album going to be coming out? The album will be out this summer, and I'll be going on a summer tour as well. Oh my God, are you bringing the babies? Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. How has motherhood uh, influenced your music? It's just taken on a whole new meaning, and he, Phoenix loves Stars Are Blind. It's his favorite lullaby at night, so I love singing to my babies. They love music. Your face is like lights up when you speak about him, so that's amazing. You're my world. <laughs> Now this Grammys is dominated by women. The females are like ruling every category. Who are you excited to see perform tonight? Well, I'm excited to see Miley perform and is Olivia Rodrigo performing, I heard. I can't wait to see her perform. She's so much fun. So I just love that girls are just taking over because we run the world. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for stopping and talking with us. You look amazing for you, Jewel. Thanks, thank Paris. You. Can't wait to hear all your new stuff. Thank you. Have a great night. Have fun. Bye bye.
Hi, we are with Molly Tuttle and Bronwyn Keith Hines. Uh, we are so excited for you guys. Best Bluegrass Album nominees. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty excited. It's our first time being nominated as a band, so we're, we're stoked to be here. Absolutely. Tell us about this little collaboration. Well, um, we started playing together. Bronwyn and I have known each other um, since we went to school together at Berkeley College of Music probably a decade ago. And we've been in a band together for the past two years now in Golden Highway and City of Gold, which is our record that's nominated, was our first album we made together. And we're just really excited. We've been touring now for two years and it's very fun to be here at the Grammys. Absolutely. Now you're a presenter tonight, I right? I am, yes. At the premiere ceremony. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, I'm presenting a bunch of great categories, some that I have a bunch of friends in, so that'll be exciting. And yeah, I'm just excited to get up on the podium and help celebrate the 66th Grammy Awards. Speaking of that, how impressive is it that this Grammy is dominated by female voices, writers, songwriters? Um, it's it's quite you know it's quite impactful, inspirational, isn't it? It's pretty cool to see. I remember like reading, especially like the big kind of the big four categories. I was like, wow, it's pretty much. 90% women, which is so cool to see. And I just love that women are kind of le leaders in the industry and breaking new ground and making some of the most exciting music out there. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I got to ask you about the style because the Grammy red carpet <laughs> is not just about music. It is about the style. So tell me about your guys' outfit. Um, this is a dress by a new designer named Kika. And I just love it. It's like cool robe sheets wrote me a really cute note that was like, I hope you feel like Dolly Parton out there on the oh. red carpet. So definitely feel feeling the glam. And what about yours? Is Mine is vintage. Yeah, Beautiful. styled by a friend in Nashville. So yeah. Amazing. Congratulations, you guys. Have a great night. Good luck. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Stay tuned for more episodes of the new Grammy.com series, Family Matters, coming this spring. for Best Country Duo, Pop Performance, and Best Country Album, Lainey. You're having a moment, babe. Congratulations. We are having a moment. <laughs> a moment, and I'm just, I'm living in it. I'm soaking it up. Glad you should. I know, this is my very first Grammys. My very first Grammys week. We have literally done everything that you can possibly imagine. <laughs> But I'm, I'm just so excited to be here. It's a special night. Absolutely. Now, yep. where were you when you first heard about your nominations and what went through your head? So it was a day or two after the CMA Awards, which we had a huge night. And my family was still in town, so my family was sitting in the living room with me. It was, it was very, very special. It's a moment that I'll never forget. I mean, everybody's just like, all in one week, we're like, what is happening? You know, I've been at this for a long time. I've been in Nashville for about 13 years, and um, it just seems like the last two years, I mean, we finally entered that race. Now we're running it, you know, and I'm just proud to be here. How old were you when you first found music? Oh my goodness. I wrote my first song at nine years old. Started playing guitar at 11. My daddy showed me a few chords on the guitar. And that was all she wrote. That was Did you ever think you'd be at the Grammys today? You know what's crazy? I knew I would be. There you go. And yes. I'm not saying that in like a, you know, yeah. in a yeah. weird kind of way, but yeah. I knew it. I had this weird sense of peace as a child, knowing that, that I'd be here one day. Um, it's been it's been a long, long time. I mean, years, blood, sweat, and tears, but dang it, we're here, and 
we're so gonna do it. It was your destiny, right? Yeah, I exactly. Think it was. Now I have to ask you about this outfit because you're killing it. Thank you. Tell, what's the inspiration oh, behind well, it? Well, I'm feeling fancy tonight. Y'all yes. check it out. Y'all check it out. <laughs> Beaumont. Love. Yes, and Charlie One Horse. Um, I'm just. I wanted to walk in here and feel powerful. You know, of course, I gotta have my bell bottoms. I'm always wearing my bell bottoms. But I just, I was like, you know what? I wanna walk in there. I wanna feel fierce. I wanna feel like, you know, I'm, I'm ready to get down to business. And you look like it. Thank you. You look amazing. <laughs> thank so you. thank you so much. Y'all too. Lady, yes. congratulations. Keep going, because your music is amazing. You're amazing. You're so inspirational. Keep hard working on everything. You're killing it. Yeah. You're killing it. Yes, you are. Congratulations. Good have a job. fun night. God bless you. Yes. Hey, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> We're here with Wale. How are you doing tonight? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> you made it through the rain? You're here? I made it through the rain, actually. And there's a lot of rain outside, and there's a lot of people walking in the rain right now. <laughs> what are you most excited about this evening? Um, I don't know, just just, uh, just being around my peers. I'm, I'm notoriously like not at stuff like this, but you know, just just, just taking it in every once in a while, you know. I'm, I'm excited to see people I haven't seen in a long time. Absolutely. It's kind of like a family reunion. You get to see everyone in the industry. You get to see other artists. Yeah. Um, who have you ran into tonight that you're like, you know what, we should hook up for a collab? Burn a boy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put that out in the universe. Uh, yeah. Nah, but, um, no, um, some people on the carpet thought I was burning boy. That was the joke. But um, anyways, um, I'm 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 happy to see like I wanna, you know, be an interesting collab like Taylor Swift, Mor Morgan Wallen, or you know, I, I feel like I work with that like every type of genre that you can, can name, you know, something like that. Right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great night. Thank you for having me. Have a good one. Enjoy. <laughs> We're here with multiple Grammy nominee tonight, John <laughs> Baptiste. How are you feeling tonight? I feel so blessed. My wife is here. She couldn't come the last time we won all those awards, and now she's here. My brother, John Belly, and we made this record. And it's just so incredible. You just make it from your heart. And now the whole world gets to see the, re the reward. It's amazing. John, I feel like everything you make is from the heart. But I feel like this album's particularly the song Butterfly. I know it had a lot to do with your wife and your struggles. You've been through so much. You're such an inspiration. Talk about how music has saved you in that way. Well, God is in the music. When we make music, we're channeling something that's divine. There's something that's so special and so real. And the world is darkness. The world is evil, but we can tap into that frequency of light. And you can't block light. Whoa! Light? Light? The thing about light? Woo! You can't hide it. Even just a little candle in the darkness from a thousand miles away. You can see that. I could, I could preach this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't even know how to 
that's what it is for me. I'm always going to be optimistic. I'm always going to be positive because I believe and I know that that's the truth. So that that's what we're showing to the, the, the people in this album. World music ready. Everybody's, we're all one. We are born the same. Return to that place. Exactly. Now, John, I know you've been working with IBM uh, this year, so you know all about the <laughs> yeah. AI stories with oh IBM God. Watson X. But for those of you who don't know, these are AI-generated insights and narratives about Grammy-nominated artists on Grammy.com and the Recording Academy social channels. And John, Watson X generated some very eloquent insights about you. For example, yeah. What you got, Watson? This is what Watson's got for you. Where you at, Watson? John Busty's fashion choices are a symphony of style and beliefs that fashion should be an extension of one's personality and values. Wow. Go Watson X, right? Exactly. So what does this outfit say about your personality and values? It says that I'm here to be the light because the light is in me. The light is in us, the light is in, the, in all of us. I just want to show people that if you're a fan of me, you can be a fan of yourself. You can be somebody that believes in yourself and you can step out there and let your light shine. You know, we are all born the same. Return to that place. It's only you that makes me all I am. That's it. I, let me stop. I'm about to go preaching here. <laughs> you are preaching here. Thank you so much, John. John Bailey. <laughs> John Bailey. Love it. You're great. I'm, I'm, I love y'all. Thank you so much every time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You. Best of luck Thank tonight. You. Thanks Best for bringing the world together with your album and your music. Yes. Love it. Thank you. I've had so much fun sharing these AI stories with IBM Watson X during our interviews tonight. I know I've learned a few new things about the nominees. Generative AI is such a powerful, exciting new technology. IBM Watson X is showing us how it can turn trusted data into insights. And for fans, a whole new way to follow and learn about their favorite artists. So be sure to check out all of the AI stories with IBM Watson X on Grammy.com and the Recording Academy channels. <laughs> We're here with Janelle Monet and Maluma, both nominated tonight and looking so fresh, Beautiful. so fly. How are you guys feeling tonight? I'm so thankful. I'm standing in like a puddle of gratitude being nominated for Best Progressive R&B Album and Album of the Year. Like, That's amazing. You know, it starts from an idea and that idea is realized and it started with my friends and the people that I intended to make it for and to, to have it amplified in this way is no small thing. Where were you when you got that nomination? I was in my bed, and I actually had a dream that I did not get nominated. I woke up, and then I had two more hours to find out if that was indeed true, which was like, oh, now I have to think about that. And I started getting a flood of text messages. I didn't go online. It was through text messages like, oh, my God, congrats. So it was just... Thank God that the dream wasn't true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, Maluma, you are also nominated tonight. Where were you when you found out about your nomination? Well, I feel great just to be nominated. You were saying the same. Like, I feel so grateful to be here. It's my first time at Grammys. Uh, I'm also expecting a baby, so there are oh much. Yeah, so there are so many yeah. feelings right now. Oh my goodness. I feel grateful and honored to be here. Actually, thank you. That's the biggest award you can get. You know, Absolutely. I'm so happy just to be here and expecting my little baby. I'd be yeah. very happy, for real. Yeah. That's, that's so amazing. Congratulations, you guys. Yeah. Any, anyone you're excited to see tonight perform? There's amazing performances tonight. SZA. I'm so excited to see SZA. I don't know everybody. Uh, SZA's performing. Just everybody. Like, I, I, I'm a performer myself, so I'm always looking and itching to be inspired, and that's what I'm hoping will happen tonight. Okay. I, yeah, SZA? SZA. I gotta ask because the fashion is just on point. 
you're known for your fashion at the Grammys, and Maluma, you are coming with it too, right? Exactly. <laughs> so tell us about That's your sweet. look. Um, well, this is couture, uh, an original or custom for me from Armani Privé. So I have to thank my team, Allie Mandelcorn, who works with me. I call her my creative co-pilot. This is this is what we want: is something simple and special. Well, you are special. You are special. Congratulations, you guys. Have a great night. Thank you, thank you so thank much. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate it. We it's like a beautiful feeling to be an yeah. artist. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Exactly. Thank, thank you. you, guys. Thank you. All right. Nice Music's biggest you. night is here, and we're just getting started. More interviews are on the way. We'll be right back. <laughs> greatest job ever. I'm on the red carpet. What? And I'm gonna interview some of your favorite stars at the Grammy Awards. I know them better than ever thanks to IBM Watson X and the Recording Academy. They collabed on factual, interesting stories about Grammy-nominated artists produced using trusted data from the Recording Academy and generative AI. Keep watching my red carpet interviews and check out AI stories with IBM Watson X on Grammy.com. We are with the beautiful Madison Cunningham, who's a nominee for Best American Roots Performance. Congratulations. How are you feeling right now? Actually, quite zen. I feel good. Yeah, hanging in. I'm just ready to watch these awards happen. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're here for. Exactly. Now, how do you get zen? Because it's a crazy carpet, a crazy day. Give us the lowdown. I think you just have to go inside your mind palace and just try and think of something. I just am trying to think of the food I'm going to eat after this because I'm really hungry. <laughs> that part. And that's helping. Madison, what inspires your music? Because it's so soulful. I have life experience um, and just just my general interests and, and, and I just try to keep all of those things at the forefront of the songs and songs in general is, is what inspires me to to keep going. I just I love I love the process and I love um, the construction of of songs and the stories that we get to tell. It's that's that's what keeps me going and interested. Absolutely. Now, who are you excited to see tonight? Are there any potential people that you want to collab with? You're like, oh, I hope they're there. I kind of hope PJ Harvey's here personally. I, I, I fucking love her. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Put it out there in the universe. Exactly. It's out there now. Exactly. It's in the ether. Madison, thank you so much. Best of luck. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. If you're like me, you're looking at the Grammys red carpet wondering, how did they get it so clean? The answer, robots. <laughs> That's right, we've got an exclusive first look at the most powerful robot vacuum, the Dyson 360 Viznab, coming soon to the US.
All right, we are here with String Revolution, and we've got John Carter Cash right here. Welcome to the 65th Grammys. How are you feeling tonight? I'm, I'm walking on air, or, you know, walking on uh, um, air insoles at least. But, but now I'm amazed. Uh, what a blessing to work with Tommy and the String Revolution and have the chance to go in and uh, make a unique work of art that, uh, of course, pays homage to my father, Johnny Cash, but ties into a lot of unique roots other than that. So a lot of fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, how did this come about? How did this collab come about? Uh, it's, it's the String Revolution. Well, I worked with John Carter on some other projects, and uh, the String Revolution uh, plays all three guitars trio, and um, we often do covers, remakes, and, you know, make them our own. And this year we had decided to do, well, it was last year, we decided to do Folsom Prison Blues. And then I was like, we got to have John Carter produce it. I mean, keep it in the family. And then we usually have a special guest, and you know, we're in Nashville, and none other than Tommy Emmanuel happens to be in town the day we're recording. And he just drove up, did one take, played his magic, left, and here we are at the Grammys. Right, the stars align, <laughs> literally. So Tommy, you're a one take wonder, right? Well, actually, I did. I did two passes. Right. Uh. Yeah, I did two, but they used most of the first one. <laughs> the truth came out. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Congratulations. Have a great night. Have a great night. Thank, thank you. you. All right, we are here with Bibi Rexa, four-time Grammy nominee, who was just singing some opera on the red carpet. <laughs> what can't you do? They put me on the spot. I, has, I haven't warmed up, and they're like, could you sing some opera for us? I was like, sure. <laughs> and here I am. I don't know what it's going to look sound like tomorrow on the internet, but we will find out. That's a true artist, just on demand. We need a song. Yes, whatever you need, I'll, I'll, I can do it for you. Freestyle, opera, let's go. Yes. <laughs> Now, you're nominated in uh, with David Guetta. How is it working with him? Because this isn't the first time that you guys have been nominated together. I mean, him and I, you know, started with Hey Mama, worked on uh, one of his albums, then we got back for I'm Good, then we got back for One in a Million, and it's just been an incredible journey, you know, just kind of being able to move through music, country music with Florida Georgia Line, making that, like, that was the, one of the top songs of all time in country, and then having I'm Good, and now being here for One in a Million. Honestly, even if, like, we lost today, but that's totally fine, because I truly feel blessed to be able to be here for this many amount of years, you know? Right. And to be surrounded by all these beautiful people that are so talented. It's like your song. It's one in a million. It's like an amazing night. Yeah, I feel I'm happy. Yeah, have a couple of drinks, dance. Yeah. To me, it's like a free concert with all my friends. I was just gonna say, who sure. are you most excited to see perform tonight? Because there are some amazing performances. Um, I have to give a shout out to my friend Dua because we're both, you know, Albanian, so I gotta support. So I'm very excited for her, and I know she's gonna kill it. Absolutely. Now, it wouldn't be the Grammys red carpet if we did not talk about the fashion, oh. and you were killing it tonight. So what was the inspiration behind this look? Um, you know, all black everything. I'm kind of in this, like, black era. I'm just loving it. And uh, it's by Robert Woon, and I love his customs. He made this all custom for me. And, um, yeah, it's kind of giving, like, Vixen, just mystery vibes. Yeah. Right. And a little what? glam. <laughs> Absolutely. You're always glam. I feel like yeah. you're always glam on the red I love carpet. Glam. I, love I like glam yes. with a little rock. Like, yes. that's yes. my thing, you know? Yes. Now, what does the rest of 2024 have in store for you? What can we be looking Coachella. forward to? Coachella. Yes. I'm doing my first Coachella ever, like my own show, and I'm so excited about it. Very nervous, but I hope I kill it. I mean, You're going I to. have no choice, but, <laughs> but I'm excited about that and uh, working on new music. Single, newly single, so. Great, okay. So, Get you know. Me up. There we go. <laughs> She's on the market. <laughs> I'm on the market. <laughs> Phoebe, it. thank you so much for stopping by. Have fun tonight. Have Enjoy. Right Congratulations. Bye. <laughs>
just arrived and it is utter chaos right now. I mean, this would be a huge night for Taylor Swift if she won. Overall, she has 52 nominations in her lifetime, which is not a lot of life to live already. But if she wins tonight, she will become um, the uh, four album of the years, winner of four album of the years, surpassing Paul Simon, Stevie Wonder, and Frank Sinatra, who she's wow. currently tied in this category with for three wins in this category. So she makes history tonight if she wins album of the year, and she's kind of the front runner. I mean, she is, she's just had such a huge year this year. It is her era, it is her night, and oh, Oh, we have Ice Spice with we got Ice Spice. Best new artist nominee. How are you feeling? I'm so excited. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy to be here. And I love my look tonight. So, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, tell us about yes. your look. It looks amazing. Thank you. This is Baby Fat Custom. You know, it's their 25th anniversary or something like that. And it's really special to me. I'm giving like Bronx Batty tonight. So, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Now, this is your first time on the Grammy red carpet, right? How does it feel to be just taking all this in? Because it is a lot. It is a lot. And the rain is crazy. The traffic is crazy. I was like, I'm going to miss the carpet. But I'm here, thankfully. Yeah, you look amazing. Tell us about when you received that nomination. What what went through your mind? Yeah, I was just oh my god, my heart, my my butterflies, butterflies in my stomach. I was just like, no, I can't believe this. But I, you know, I'm really excited. No matter what happens tonight, I'm grateful and I'm just happy to be here. We're so happy you stopped by. Thank you so much. Have an incredible night. You deserve yes. it. Have fun. Yes. Enjoy. You look incredible. We're here with Madison Beer. How are you feeling tonight? You look gorgeous. Thank you so much. I'm feeling very overwhelmed and happy. I haven't been here in, oh my God, 10 years probably. So I'm happy to be here. What are you most excited about tonight? Um, I don't know. I'm, actually, I, I'm excited to see everybody. I mean, this is such an honor to be here as a nominee. It's incredible and very surreal. Um, I'm excited to see Billy's performance the most, though. Yes. Yeah. How does it feel to be nominated for this specific piece of work? It feels crazy. I mean, I, I definitely didn't think that I was going to be nominated. So when I got the call, I was extremely emotional and overwhelmed and just so honored. So, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. I'm very, very grateful. Is there anyone you're super excited to see perform? You've got amazing performances tonight. Anyone that you're like, can't wait to see? Literally, I know this is a lame answer, but everybody. I'm so excited. <laughs> I think that music is in such an awesome place, and there's just so many incredible people. I can't wait to see. Exactly. It's like a big concert. In it there. is. Right. It's going to be so fun. And you made it here just in time. <laughs> Madison, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much you. for stopping by. Thank Have a great you. Grammy night. Thank you so much.
All right, we've got Tank and Abraham here. Hi, guys. Nice to see you. Congratulations, Grammy nominee. Thank you, thank you. We're so thank you so here. much. We're so happy to be here. Yeah. It's a fun day, right? So exciting, honestly, and, and we are so happy. But there's one missing. Sima Funk is supposed to be with us also because the, we're nominated for a, a best global music performance. But the, it's a song we uh, I, I invited Tank and Sima Funk, so it's like he's missing. But that's okay. So we Cuba, that's okay. Just imagine exactly. Cuba being New right Orleans, well, Cuba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, when you guys found out that you got this nomination, like what was going through your mind? Where were you? Give us all the details. Um, what about you? You want to start? Yeah. <laughs> I was probably definitely at home in New Orleans eating some gumbo with my family. <laughs> and we just, you know, we get the announcement, you just jump all over the house. You just can't believe it. We're so excited, especially yeah. this moment in the world. It's, I mean, it's perfect. It's yeah, like, and I, I was with my team. My team, uh, it's a Mr. Ibe, it's uh, the label. Uh, it's all with all my team, and we were like just hoping to know, you know, the results. And, and when suddenly the, the information popped up, we were like, wow! And we jumped and we like open champagne and stuff. Yeah, we were like really happy about that. Wait, I gotta ask you about this trumpet that you're yes. holding. Can you tell us about? It's beautiful. This is a this is a pop art, a unique piece that was made by uh, Richard Orlinski for me for the Grammys to celebrate this nomination all together with this uh, special special art uh, piece art piece of art. Yeah. It's, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. It's really cool. I love it the It is red here. carpet ready. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That is a wrap for us on Grammy Live, but the 66 Grammy Awards are just seconds away. Thanks for joining us. And remember, you can find highlights from throughout the day, interviews with Grammy Award winners and performers, and exclusive backstage access by visiting live.grammy.com for complete coverage. Tune in on CBS and stream the Grammy Awards live on Paramount Plus with Showtime Plan. And do not miss a moment of music's biggest night. Get ready. It all starts right now.